Hi, my name is John Salentine with Hammerhead Industries, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a product demonstration on the GearKeeper tool lanyards. Now, first of all, you might ask why GearKeeper? There's a bunch of players in the market, um, and the thing that we tell people to remember is that each one of us has uh, our own strengths. Uh, this market for tethering tools uh, has been growing and evolving over the last 10, 15 years. Um, and it's going to continue doing that. Uh, there's some players in the market that are safety companies. There are some players in the market that have come in just for doing tool lanyards. We have been a gear tethering company for the last 25, 30 years doing retractable and coil type lanyards for scuba diving, um, fire industry, military. Uh, the tools is just another segment of our business. Uh, we specialize a lot in retractable tethers, and our tethers are a, um, an ergonomic type product. Um, you'll have some people selling you a product that they say is shock absorbing. All of these products do have shock absorbing capability. But one of the strengths of our product is the ability to have a good stretch with very low tension. I can give you a demonstration on that. So as you can see, this tool lanyard is longer than this one in its relaxed state. Uh, this tool lanyard, which only has a very small amount of stretch, doesn't really stretch much at all. This tool lanyard, uh, which is shorter, will actually stretch farther with a very low force. So what that means is that when you have a tool in a tool belt connected to you, you have a very soft lanyard laying next to you versus something like uh, this, which is very stiff and more prone to entanglement. The second point of this is that we designed our lanyards in this fashion to be what we call ergonomic. So they're easy to use, uh, they got good stretch without a lot of force. Now some people will say that with this higher stretch uh, force lanyard, you have better shock absorbing capability. That depends. Do you have a five pound tool on it? Do you have a one pound tool? Do you have a 15 pound tool? A light tool might actually bounce back and hit you in the head. All of these have shock absorbing capabilities. Now, you know, we recommend five, six pounds max going to a person. That's not huge uh, impact forces. So our products are designed to be more user friendly and more ergonomic. So even though a product says it's a Nancy standard, there's still construction differences between companies. Um, we are a U.S. company. We design the products in the U.S. We make the products in the U.S. Other companies can be said to design in the U.S. but manufactured overseas. To us, unless you're manufacturing the project product, you might not exactly know how to design the product. Uh, we feel that's a strength for us. In a product like this, even though it could say it meets an ANSI standard, there's things in construction that you have to look at. The elastic uh, going through the tubular webbing and sewn through the elastic. Uh, the elastic is a bunch of bungee cords. Now, there's no way to inspect this end of the lanyard. So as it wears out, you really don't know what the integrity is. On ours is a nylon with Spectre for a core. We sew the lengthwise through the lanyard, so we're catching the whole lanyard and then catching the top and the bottom. This is the only way that we can get this to meet a two to one safety factor for a high drop load. GearKeeper tool lanyards are designed to be uh, ergonomically friendly. Uh, what that means is that we have a high amount of stretch with very low tension. As you can see in this diagram, uh, our, ours typically have about a 61% stretch where there's some that are down at the 18%. The reason is, is that when our webbing coils are made, the elastic is woven into them and is just designed to bunch up the webbing. Others use a elastic cord inside of tubular webbing. And in some of these cases, the strength actually comes from the stretch of the elastic. And so some of them, as you can see from the diagram, have a very low amount of stretch. The most common lanyards are the coil type tool lanyards. And we have two versions in our product line. We have the economy version and what we call our super coil. Uh, super coil is a higher load rating. It's high vis, higher stretch, stainless steel carabiners, 
uh, double locking carabiners, where our economy one is going to be a lower load rating. Uh, it still is going to be ANSI standard with a captive ion locking gate, uh, but it's a zinc carabiner. Um, it's still made in the USA product. Uh, it's just a more cost-effective product for situations where it becomes more of a disposable thing. You know, people are coming in and leaving a job and you're worried about not spending a lot of money, but you can still get a quality tool lanyard. Uh, in the uh, super coils, again, uh, stainless steel locking gate or uh, uh, double locking aluminum carabiner. And then in carabiner ends, fixed lanyard loops, disconnectable ends. That is right now the biggest part of the market for attaching uh, tools to a person. We have these rated up to 15 pounds, but typically five, six pounds is as much as you want to hook to a person. Now, these can be hooked to a structure, but you're just working within a four foot um, radius. We make an anchor tether, which is quite a unique product. And as you can see, it's not very long. It's only about three foot, but because of the construction of it, it's a polyurethane tube inside of tubular webbing. We get a huge amount of stretch. So this will actually stretch to almost 10 feet. Uh, we call it an anchor tether because it's not designed necessarily to hook to a person. It's designed to hook to a structure. Uh, for heavier load ratings or for situations where it's dangerous to have something hooked to a person. But it will give them, the user, the technician, the ability to reach in the areas that he needs to. So let's say he's in a bucket or along a scaffolding where you need to be able to reach far this way or a long distance that way. It's not, it's not a cheap product, but there's no way to get that kind of stretch without using a polyurethane coil. If you use a bungee, you're not gonna be at a 300% stretch. The other product segment is uh, wrist lanyards. Uh, in the construction market, we sometimes don't see wrist lanyards as popular as coils. Um, they have a very specific area they're used in a lot in uh, aerospace where you're worried about drop distances. Uh, we do them with disconnects and uh, various options, even with retractable. But it's a specific area where they're used, uh, and again, it's, it's typically in an aerospace environment. The next area is in retractables. Now, this is where our uh, business has started. We do a lot with retractables. Um, retractable severe environment for underwater, uh, for military firefighters. So we do three different uh, sizes. We do a one pound load rim limit, a two pound load limit, and a three and a half pound load limit. So the major benefit about retractables is that you can have a lot more tethers on your body with reduced entanglement problems. So for example, if you have two items with a coil, um, one on each side, it's not a big deal, but what happens if you need to have uh, six or eight tools tethered at one time? You start putting six or eight of these on and you're going to have a real rat's nest. So with retractable, it's designed to retract the tether so you can have a very compact system. It's not designed to actually retract the tool like, let's say, a key retractor where you pull it out, you let your keys go and it retracts back. This is simply a very low force made to retract the tether so that when you're working with it, you have virtually no tension. You can't feel that you're attached uh, to it. Uh, on the larger units, we do have a manual lock. So if you're doing something and you absolutely want no tension at all, you can lock it in place. But the real benefit is that um, being able to pull your tool out, use it, put it away, and not dealing with um, the entanglement of the tether. Now we've been asked uh, multiple times of, hey, can you make one of these in a ratcheting lock? And being a retractor manufacturer, we do make ratcheting lock products. However, in this environment, we don't find them to be necessarily beneficial. Um, in a ratcheting lock type system, half of your wheel is locking, the other half is unlocking. So you're constantly trying to figure out where the lock point is and where the unlock point is. Further, it has a lot of small parts, and our products are made to go in water, work in dusty environments, and with uh, small ratcheting locks like that, you end up having reliability problems. This is a product that will hold up to the environment. Uh, the user or technician can pull it out, use this tool, put it back, and not have to worry about it. Now, the three and a half pound unit is all metal unit made to go to D-rings. The one and the two pound units have detachable um, 
lanyards on them. So you can put this lanyard on all your tools and basically be able to just clip in tools as you need them. Next product segment is hard hat lanyards. Now we do two versions, a strap and a retractable. A strap is your low cost way of just attaching a strap and hooking it to your, um, your vest. The retractable is a concept that um, was uh, requested of us to have a hard hat lanyard that is low profile. So instead of having a strap that you get caught up on, the retractor is actually pulling back the coil so you can have a very flat type system, reducing entanglement. It has some extension to it so you can easily pull your hard hat off, uh, lay it over your shoulder. Like a lot of our retractors, it has a disconnect system so this can stay on your fall protection vest or it can be on a, um, a high-vis vest in another configuration and then simply clip your hard hat into it. Okay, another section is our retractable two-way radio phone tethers, general purpose retractors. Now, one thing that people really concentrate on is their hammers, uh, spud wrenches, their, their general tools, which are a big thing that you have to worry about, of course. But what we tell people is start thinking about the other things that you're dropping. I mean, uh, a tape measure did fall and kill somebody. Uh, your cell phones, your radios, um, your PDAs or iPads. Um, you know, a lot of those things are now being used like iPads for your drawings. And although, you know, you start thinking, will a cell phone injure somebody? Maybe, maybe not, but it's also a cost. Um, the PDAs or iPads are definitely a heavy item that could injure someone but also they have a huge price tag, so why not tether them? Now, retractable is the way to go with this. You know, you're not going to put a coil on a cell phone. I see that in posters and things like that. It's not a practical application. We make things like smartphone phone tethers, small radio tethers, large radio tethers. It's a way of, again, maybe not necessarily retracting a device, but it's retracting the coil. So if you have a phone in your vest, you don't have to have a big coil on you. You can pull your phone out, use it, put it back. So there's a lot of applications that people are gonna start thinking about that we do retractables and have done them for a long time. And that's really one of our uh, major strengths in this market. So once you figure out the tool tethers, the next part of the equation is how do you actually hook to tools and how do you anchor to yourself? <clears throat> so we do a very simple tool attachment anchor system that is straps, load rated, designed to attach to either your fall protection harness, your uh, tool belt, and then straps attached to tools. Now there's a lot of different tool attachments out there. There's manufacturers who are making um, tools with attachments. This is designed to be a very simplistic product line that you can put into a tool room and allows the tool room to make tool attachments very easily and very secure. You've seen the systems with tape, which the tape is the structural part of the attachment. What we do is a loop and cinch system. So the tether is cinched around the tool, that's your structural integrity. We then simply uh, tape to keep that cinch tight. So your structural attachment is the loop, not the tape. There's a lot of systems out there that get really complex and uh, very dedicated to tools. And in some cases, that is the type of tool attachments you need. Uh, some of those, though, get difficult for random attachments. This system is designed to be a random attachment to work with um, a wide range of tools and can be done relatively easily and with confidence that your tool attachment is uh, safe and secure based on the facts that it's a cinch system. In our catalog we show a great many ways of how to do the tool attachments. Uh, we also have a video on this um, that you can link up to and see how we actually do it and of course you can always call us for uh, specific instructions. So we went through a lot of varieties of different tool tethers uh, and different attachments. You know, a couple things in this industry as it's growing that I like to tell people is, uh, number one, learn to walk before you start to run. Ideally, you want to attach every tool, but if you just go and do that blindly, you can have some adverse impacts, you know, as far as 
uh, worrying about hooking too much uh, weight to a person, uh, causing other entanglement issues, uh, impact on productivity, which uh, is going to have a negative impact on the whole philosophy of how to do tool tethers. So we want to do tool tethering smart. Um, in all of our business in the last 30 years, people buy our products because we're a benefit to the user. These are not necessarily a benefit to the user. They're a benefit to your coworker. They're making your working environment safer, which is very, very important. Uh, however, if you don't do things correctly, uh, you can impact the productivity and the morale uh, in the environment. So what we like to say is rely on us to help you do things. Um, our reps have these specific toolkits they can work with distributors and end users and help you decide on different tethers that fit uh, your applications. And there's a lot of different products on the market. Um, what we like to say is that give us a list of your tools, show us your applications, and we'll recommend products um, that we feel are going to work. If we know of other products on the market for your specific situation, we're going to tell you that. When you buy from GearKeeper, we want to make sure that you're 100% satisfied uh, with how it performs and how it holds up.